Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a very special ROM and this is my first on the Z3. This time I've got the Moonwalkers Epidemic ROM version 4 for the Z3. So let's stay tuned for that. So guys, there you have it. This is called the Moonwalkers Epidemic ROM for the Xperia Z3. This is actually my first uh, custom ROM, well, at least making the video of it. So it is really, really cool. I actually started going into the custom ROM world for the my for my Z3 because I had to move out with the Z3 only as my uh, daily driver. So yeah, uh, that was there. Uh, from what I can see, this is a really, really cool. Uh, this is stock based uh, and I haven't unlocked my bootloader yet so this is still on the look locked bootloader so I am going to have all the goodies of the DRM stuff so yeah this is really really nice for a ROM uh, let's get started now first of all uh, let's go to the settings menu first of all in the settings menu you can see that there are quite a lot of options first of all in the about phone page you can see it is moonwalker epidemic uh, this is um, from RXS moonbreakers 2015 so you can see a lot of stuff here so that is really cool uh, all of these can be seen it is version 5.1.1 and on the latest version that is the latest built number which is uh, 232 which is the latest one available right now so that is really really cool so, so that is there uh, you can uh, click the uh, build number a couple of times to have in uh, developers mode so that you can use that it does have a lot of options now this is a stock based ROM so you are going to get all the best stuff from Sony's uh, UI which is namely the power saving functions and all of that this is basically a Z5 modeled ROM so you are going to get a lot of options in the upgraded pack kit so that is really really nice uh, something which I really like is the phone number assistant which I'll be getting to later in the settings menu, most of the things are going to stay the same as any other stock ROM. Uh, if you have used a Z3 before, it is going to stay the same. Uh, something which is in, uh, enabled in this is in the display menu, it does have the um, uh, ambient display enabled which is really really cool. I really appreciate that. I personally use that a lot. So that is something which I really really liked. Uh, what else do we have? It does have all the goodies like image enhancer, glove mode, all of that is working so you will have a lot of options with that. Uh, if you are living somewhere in the cold you will be using the glove mode a lot because I have been and yeah. In the system icons you can uh, choose what icons appear on the top bar so that uh, you can disable NFC and stuff like that. You can have that. Wallpaper option can be disabled here. It does have theme option. Now something which I realized is that uh, it does not have the personalized option which was available earlier in the other ROMs. Uh, this might be a uh, change in the 232 version firmware. Uh, I'm not really sure about that so yeah. In the themes option, now it does have a couple of extra themes which is uh, these ones which are lollycat themes basically they change everything. Uh, they are not flat themes uh, for someone who likes the KitKat styled themes better. That is really really cool. It does have an option there so yeah. Rest everything it does come with the usual goodies of uh, of the Sony uh, phones like uh, all of these like uh, noise suppression enabler, equalizer for the voice, speaker voice enhancements, slow talk, all of these are available. I really really appreciate a lot of these options because these are really really nice and it can actually give you a better uh, well percepted hearing because uh, they work so yeah now it does have power management and it does have the ultra stamina mode which have saved my life like literally a lot of times I cannot uh, count all the times it has saved my life so it is really really nice it does have that also a bit about battery now this is where I have reinstalled I have installed everything which I my uh, it was charging this is where it was downloading everything all in all this is a really really good stock based ROM with stock ish battery life yes granted it does have exposed installed and it is going to drain a bit more than the normal stock ROM but 
for a ROM which does so much and it is de-blotted and it doesn't have a lot of clutter and all that it does give you an acceptable level of battery life and hey it is the Z3 uh, you are still going to get almost a day and a half of battery life so that is really really cool so yeah in the settings menu you as I've said there is something called the phone number assistant which is basically a call blocking application you have this option uh, this is in build so it does give you a bit of edge you don't have it you don't have to use a third party application for something like this which is really cool so yeah it also gives you a caller ID which is really nice so you can actually have a data source you can enable it uh, with uh, Wi-Fi it will search online all that stuff it does work out and it is working that is something which I wanted to give out uh, it is from Z5 it is working on the Z3 so that is really cool so yeah that is it in the settings menu apart from the usual settings there is one more which is called the Moonwalker modules which is basically a few settings options which is available in the settings menu so you have that now it does come with a exposed framework installer this this one you have to install it manually by uh, flashing the uh, zip file which is available on the forums you can have that it is available and this does support uh, exposed frameworks and it is working fabulously because I'm using that right now in the CPU settings you can actually enable disable the CPU settings you can uh, have you can down clock it uh, uh, overclock it do stuff like that but hey it is going to cause few instability issues because this phone is not meant for to be overclocked it can get really really hot it does also give you a CPU statistics which is pretty cool right now I am using this as my daily driver because uh, well I like it a lot so that is why you are going to hear a lot of uh, chimes in between because I'll be getting calls so pursue settings are available in the settings menu so that you can use that app ops is a really cool feature to uh, enable the uh, permissions for each and every application and you can customize that to your advantage auto start now this is something which I really appreciate there are a lot of applications which auto start when the phone starts up you can actually disable that so that uh, you uh, so that you will not be bothered by them anymore so that is really really cool it does have an SMS counter which will show you how many uh, SMS has been sent how many stuff has been received and the report daily monthly all of that can be available here so that is really cool so yeah that is it in the settings menu let me show you guys the uh, the uh, small apps which is a modified version it's a black themed one so it is from the Z5 so you can see it's sort of that uh, thing here you can also add a few extra uh, small apps from the place store and all that any any Sony user will be familiar with it so I'm not going to get too much into that everything is themed now I have of course installed a few of my apps like whatsapp and uh, swift key it does come with the Sony keyboard it was updated again so yeah it does come with a lot of stuff it doesn't come with file manager and a browser which I would suggest should have been included with the ROM but uh, well anyone flashing the ROM is probably going to install their own browser which is Chrome, Firefox, whatever it is so yeah it's not included but a file manager would have been nice though so so that is it in the uh, ROM section now I want to showcase this ROM as something which is I mean okay this is a stock based ROM so you are going to get all the functions of the stock ROM and none of the extras so that is it and uh, yeah I guess that much is it about that something which I really appreciate is that uh, the um, pin lock lock screen has a quick unlock feature which does not require me to click the OK button which is really really cool I was looking for that literally everywhere in the exposed modules I couldn't find that uh, this one has it in build so yeah I have been using ex ex uh, existence premium ROM also but I did f find a few bugs with it that is why I'm that is not my uh, regular daily driver this is because this is something which I haven't found any bugs at yet so yeah so let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice this is from the Z5 boot animation which is pretty cool so yeah so here is the boot animation which for this ROM which is Moonwalker's Epidemic uh, this is the Z5 boot animation if you don't know this uh, this is similar to what is you are going to have on a Z5 so pretty cool so yeah guys that much is it about the ROM there isn't much to say about this because this is a basic stock based ROM which is going to get you through the day so that is it it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles rather than the fact that there are a lot 
I mean a lot of the a lot of under the hood changes which is probably better if you read on the forum rather than me talking about it because it's going to mess up everything so yeah that's really cool so I guess that much is it about the ROM I will show you guys the benchmark score in them in a bit so yeah you can get that so guys there is the uh, I'm going to show you guys the benchmark score which is pretty cool so let's get it started So guys, there you have it. That is the score which I received, which is pretty normal. I mean, it's nothing special. Hey, but hey, this is a stock ROM, so you need to keep that in mind. Which is forty-three thousand. It's not a big bad score, but hey, it is good enough. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Um, in the conclusion, this is a stock ROM, as I have been already saying, and this does not have a lot of bells and whistles, but this does give you a really really cool chance to try out a lot of stuff this does have a lot of uh, underside uh, tweaks which makes it really really cool the music's tweaked and it is really really nice so yeah it's better to read about it than for to hear from me about this one so that is really really nice i guess how much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye